Hello, my name is Gaper Logan Jr. Gaper Novus Logan Jr. I am a disability advocate. I was injured in 1990, as a matter of fact, to be more specific, March of 1990, March the 25th of 1990. And I was in the hospital for a number of months. And then as I got better, I transferred to a therapeutic hospital that enabled me to get to where I am now. I've been to many therapeutic hospitals in and out of Chattanooga. And today we're going to talk about disability advocacy. Okay, uh, one thing i like to announce, the Tennessee Mega Conference, which covers every disability alliance in the state of Tennessee. We're having the conference in Nashville at the airport, I think the airport Marriott. Uh, it's going to be held May the 28th through the 31st. For more information, please contact the Ark of Tennessee. Okay. Self-advocacy is an individual ability to effectively communicate, convey, or negotiate one needs and rights. Let me say that again. Self-advocacy is the individual's ability to effectively communicate, convey, negotiate needs and rights. Let's say that one more time. I want to make sure you know Self-advocacy is an individual's rights. No, self-advocacy is an individual's ability to effectively communicate or convey or negotiate needs and rights. Uh, next, it involves making informed decisions, taking responsibility for those decisions. That comes to us from Van Rusen, 94. You can get a hold of him at www.ehhs.kent.edu. Again, that's dot. Let me say that again. www.ehs.kent.edu. Self knowledge is the first step toward advocacy for your right. Let me say it one more time. Self-knowledge is the first step toward advocating for your rights. You need to know your strengths and needs and your interests. Before you begin to advocate for your stuff and others. Self advocacy. Oh, let me go back to that. Before you begin before you begin to advocate for yourself and others, you need to know the previous. I say you need to know your strength, your needs and your interests. 
you need to know all those before you begin to advocate for other people and yourself. Before you begin advocating for yourself and others, self advocacy is American. American. Self advocacy is American. The American Revolution. Advocating for one's rights. To be able to promote what well, he or she wants, that American. When he or she wants it too, how he or she wants it. A cardinal ice cream is what I desire. First, I'll say it. I want some ice cream. Then he or she jumps in a car or calls paratransit. And then he or she pursues his idea, his want, his desires. And pursuing he or she is advocating for himself. For the need he or she desires. He or she may not desire the added pounds acquired from the ice cream. It's good. Depending on the flavor of the brand. Self-advocacy is self-knowledge. 